Today we're installing ARP wheel studs on Project V8RX7. If you read our three-part wheel and tire article, you'll remember that we kind of had to spec these wheels in the dark. With the Rocket Bunny wide body kit on here, it's about 100 millimeters wider in the rear. So with that knowledge and what we knew, the stock offsets that fit this car well, we kind of guessed at it. And we got pretty close, but we're still about 10 millimeters uh, on the conservative side. So we installed a spacer in here. These are FIC spacers. They're distributed by the same company that uh, distributes SSR wheels. And the way these work is to get around the problem of lock thread engagement by using a 10 millimeter spacer. They actually put studs on the spacer. So what you do is you bolt this on to your stock hub, chop the wheel studs off so that they're flush with the surface here, and then you use the studs on the uh, spacer here as your new wheel studs. Uh, the only thing is on a 10 millimeter spacer, there's not a whole lot of depth in this metal here for the stud that's pressed into it to hold on to. So in theory, I've never seen it happen, but I've heard it could happen in a high load environment, say on the track with a big ass tire like this, you could rip the stud out of the back of the spacer and you can imagine what kind of damage that could do. Uh, just to be sure, we're gonna pop out the stock wheel studs out of the hub. We're also gonna pop these studs out of the spacer and then put our new ARP studs through all of that bolt that up and then have the wheel bolt directly to that. So we got three and a half inch uh, ARP studs for the rear and two and a half inch studs for the front. Unfortunately, there's not enough clearance to pop out and put in the new studs without pulling off the whole hub. So we have to replace the wheel bearings in the rear too. So that kind of sucks. Up front, we don't really have a problem with uh, wheel stud length. We're not using a spacer. We still got plenty of thread on the uh, studs, but they are 25 years old, so we're gonna replace them anyway. We're gonna use two and a half inch studs, which are still an inch longer than the factory ones, but that'll give us a little more room for getting the lug nut on without potentially scuffing the finish. So we actually went ahead and picked up a set of Mutiki, Muteki, however you pronounce it, lug nuts. These are distributed from Wheelmate. They're the same company as Mackin that uh, bring you Volk and Gram Light wheels. They're open-ended, so our long studs aren't gonna be a problem. One cool thing is they got this uh, round, knurled end here. It's not hex like the rest of the nuts, so it actually makes it easy to spin these on really fast, uh, which is cool, because on the long studs, it takes forever to turn the nut on. Oh, and it also comes with a thin-walled socket, so you're less likely to scratch your wheels when you're tightening down the nuts. So that's it. We got our new ARP studs, we got our new lug nuts, and we got a lot more confidence that these wheels aren't going to go flying off on us on the track. Thanks for watching. Check back next week. We're going to be installing a brand new shifter in Project V8RX7. If you like this video, please subscribe so we can let you know when we put out more videos like this. And if you want to read more on Project V8RX7, check out MotoIQ.com.